they are brothers, but they all have same abnormalities. They can't manage to run due to their health conditions. The young brother Musisi had a dream to become a president, while Paul wanted to become a professional footballer. But one thing halted their dreams. They have kyphoscoliosis, which ruined their destiny. Meet these brothers who are living differently. Kyphoscoliosis, which is a common spinal disorder, affects approximately 1 in 1,000 individuals. And about 1 in 10,000 affected individuals has a spinal deformity. Deformities include excessive spinal curvature in the coronal and sagittal planes as well as rotation of the spinal axis. Call me Rukundo, Paul. I was born like this. My name is Musisi. I was born normal but later caught with this abnormality when I was in primary two. Maybe I had like eight years old by then. It started developing slowly by slowly and then grew this big. And I started feeling more tiredness, especially when climbing, and this forced me to drop out of school. Most of the times, I feel so much pain in the chest. When I do jogging or simply run for 10 minutes, my lungs release so much air and the heart beats faster and faster. Mm -hmm. I'm their mother and I raised them alone because the father abandoned me at their young age and married another wife. Musisi's sickness surprised us because he was born normal. But when he had eight years, he started developing this abnormality, front and back. At the beginning, I thought maybe he got a certain injury and kept quiet. We started giving him massage, but he wasn't even feeling a little pain. Later on, I took him to the hospital and doctors scanned him and said had they operated him, he would die immediately. So I was left with no any other option other than bringing him here at home. And this condition has kept on increasing in size, whether in the back or in the shoulders. This forced him to drop out of school because he no longer managed to go there. And we could also not manage to carry him to school daily. This has affected his life completely and brought him respiratory issues whereby sometimes he faces difficulties in breathing like when he climbs and he has stopped taking different kinds of food. He used to consume all kinds of food but he no longer consumes all that. Sometimes he goes to sleep without eating. By now he no longer eats ugali, posho, cassava, bananas, potatoes, beans and peas. He only eats rice and meat. and the rest he cannot dare try. It is very difficult for us to get what he can eat due to our poor standards of living. Most of the times, we give him porridge. He can spend a whole month depending on porridge. All my boys, both Musisi and Paul, have no body strength, but the elder brother's condition is a bit confusing. His strength and power are variable. Some days, he wakes up powerful and strong like today, and you may think he's the Samson we hear in the Bible stories. Other days, he wakes up feeling so weak in his body that he cannot even manage to hold a plate. If that happens, we feed him like a baby, wash him and dress him. We do everything for him in such occasions. We are not happy with the way we don't go to school, whether me or my young brother because of the abnormality we share that does not permit us to walk long distances. This is so sad that we don't see what our future will look like without education. But on the other hand, we are very happy for not going to school. We have daily holidays. And at school, we were always bullied by fellow students saying we are not people like them. Some saying that we originate from camels that we were created to live in the desert. 
they could say that we can withstand living a life without water for some years and so on we got so much harassment but it was okay until our health issues kept on increasing and worsening our health situations the society and families at large have also not been fair to our children people don't always want to get along with my children instead they try and go away from them as if they have infectious diseases every neighbor here says that they think my children are possessed with some evil spirits that's the reason why they try and go away from them other family members said that they will never welcome my children they cannot let them play and have fun with their children they think my children were contaminated with a certain virus that maybe they can spread to them according to their own perspective which is false some people out here have a false mindset and there is nothing we can do to change that if i'm lucky enough and get someone whom i cultivate for that's when we get food if not we spend some days without eating akapira to to vasha ko china ka cheka chenga nga nga vada vatoi I try and play football since childhood. I have always had a dream of being one of the greatest footballers of all time. I was always inspired by the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. I always saw myself as a football player, but my health conditions could not let my dreams come true. There's no way for me to become a professional football athlete due to my lungs and body in general. I'm not eligible to play professional football. All I do is play for fun. For me, I also can try and play, but I never had football in my dreams. Instead, I have always thought of becoming a head of state, a president, a supreme ruler, a person who controls the whole country, so that I will be helping the vulnerable, helping the poor and changing the lives of different people. But so far with my education suspended, I don't think I can get the required knowledge for one to become a president and two which is more difficult my life condition which is at stake I have never seen a president who has such the abnormality I have this alone is a barrier there is no one who would vote for me to become a president when looking like this I would lose even before I contest It's been 3 years since I started learning how to repair shoes. Now I'm a professional shoe repairer. Only that here in this village, people walk with no shoes. They walk barefooted. It's rare to see people wearing shoes. I don't get people with whom I can repair their shoes, but I also learned shoe making. Right now I can make shoes. starting from scratch but i need capital to invest in shoe making then shift from this village and go in the city where shoes are essential elements i wish my son had enough capital to invest in his business because when he gets a little money he helps us with providing here at home he is able to make shoes and has all what it takes to start apart from money if given money he can help himself and the family Going through shit storms, feeling uninspired, hating the way you look and having guilt over not accomplishing enough are just some of the things that make you feel interesting, relatable and human. If you're watching this, then you have internet access. And if you have internet access, it stands the reason that you have a computer or a smartphone. which makes me think that you probably have a place to live with electricity and plenty of food to eat and clean clothes to wear which are all things that an enormous amount of people living on the planet today do not have this is not to say that people shouldn't strive to better their positions in life however it seems that many of us are no longer content with the regular amount of happy yet dead set on being manually jubilant all of the time be happy with what you have 
Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah, and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.